I got in in 54, and the flood was in 55. Just a year it happened. Yeah, I got flooded right out and started from scratch up again. I was always kind of nostalgic about the um, store. I don't know, it was something I always thought about. Uh, it was actually something I kind of dreamt about one yeah. night, and um, I really thought it took it as a sign, you know. I didn't put it on for sale when you could say, whenever you get to sell it, let me know. I said, so I gave her a good deal. I think he was surprised yeah. that anyone in the family would be interested in oh, yeah. trying to keep it going. And I think that was a part of me too. I just really, really wanted to keep the family name going. She did want it. She wanted to try. She wanted to uh, keep the namesake very more, more than anything else. And she made sure in the store she had photographs of me around with the boxing and with my wife and I around, you know, that it was just, and she had a corner there where the chair I would sit almost every day with the pictures around at my yeah. point. She did a nice job. My fall of my first year was wonderful. My spring was good. So, you know, when I was ordering for fall, for the following, for the fall, um, 2008, okay. I, uh, I increased my inventory because I had sold a lot of, or most of my inventory out for the fall before. So I got all the inventory in and then the market crashed. My sales drops about 75% after that. So I said, hey, it's help business today because everything is in the five or ten now you can buy shoes, you know what yeah. I mean? Like exactly. the truck stores. Before it just was a big real the store selling shoes, I was the only shoe store and I served all the most all the kids in shoes. I can understand why my uncle loved it for so many years. Yeah. And I, like I said, I just am very disappointed that I couldn't pull it off.